हेलो एवरीवन इट्स प्रज्वल पाठक दिस साइड एंड वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल पाई गुरु फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम टुडे ऑन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू गेम डेवलपमेंट सीरीज यूजिंग पाइथन एंड पाई गेम एंड इन दिस सीरीज विल बी बिल्डिंग अ सिंपल कार रेसिंग टू गेम जस्ट यूजिंग आवर मोबाइल फोन ओके सो फॉर दिस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द फाइव वर्ड थ्री एप्लीकेशन यू कैन इंस्टॉल इट फ्रॉम प्ले स्टोर एंड विल बी मेकिंग एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच सो यू डो नॉट हैव टू वरी अबाउट इवन इफ यू हैव नो नॉलेज ऑफ पाई गेम प्रीवियसली ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम The first thing that we have to do in order to build this game is that we have to create a folder on our internal storage. So let's just go. I'm in my internal storage here, and I'll be creating a folder here. So create folder. Give this folder a name. I'll be giving it a name of car racing and 2D. Okay. So car racing 2D. The next thing is that uh, we need to download the assets required to build this game. For this, there's a link in the video description. you can just check out the link and download the files from there so when you click the link you will a page will open like this just scroll down okay this is the game that we will be building hot nitro racing here's in the section how to download just click download car racing 2d it will download a zip file okay so let it get downloaded and then we'll move to the coding part okay so it's downloaded now the next thing that we have to do is we have to extract it so i'll just go to my download and click the car racing 2d and i will just simply click extract here you can use an external application to extract it too the next thing that we have to do is just go inside it again and just copy this assets folder entire assets folder and paste it in the file folder that you have just created so i have created it here car racing 2d so just paste it inside here okay it's done now now we can move to the coding part of it one more thing i am still working on this game so there are few more assets that will i will be adding by the end of the series so you may have to download this assets folder again so okay so the next thing that we have to do is first of all we need to create a file so just click new here okay it's already created and click save and save it where you have created your folder car racing 2d inside okay here select folder and here click main.py okay save the file name as main.py then now for this to build this game we are going to use the py game li library if you have no knowledge of py game basically it's a library to build games using python so in py3 it already comes pre installed or if you are using your desktop or laptop you have to install manually from pip by pip install py game okay once you have installed it you can import it like this import py game now when you initialize uh, import py game you have to initialize it in order to make games so you have to type py game dot in it okay the next thing is you need to define the width and height of your game window okay uh, when you create a game basically it is a new window is created so you need to define the width and height so you can define a width like this screen uh, equals width comma height okay sorry at okay and then 288 512 then <coughs> basically what we did here we have stored 288 pixels in the width variable and 512 pixels in the height variable now we have stored it back to a new variable called screen you can if you want you can just try printing screen or width or height okay and this will okay so there was this call just for give me for this okay now if uh, if you want you can just try printing screen width and height it will basically print a tuple and these two values okay again 288 and 512 pixels are values are in pixels okay the next thing is uh, here i am using 288 and 512 specifically because it's a 9 is to 16 ratio whenever you are going to make a game on pyratri try to use this value 288 or 512 okay why this value i'll be telling you showing showing you by the end of this tutorial So once you have defined the width and height, you have to create a window. In Pygame, you can create a window like this: Pygame dot display dot set mode. Okay, we have this uh, function to create a window. Here you need to pass the width and height in a tuple. So we have already stored in a variable called screen. So we can just pass the screen here. Okay. If you run this thing, you will find the window will appear and disappear automatically. Okay. So this is a window. It appeared and disappeared automatically. Okay. now if you want to keep uh, showing this window you have to uh, what you have to do basically you have to create a infinite value so you can create infinite value like this running equals true okay this is simply a variable and we are going to use a infinite value 
इनफाइनाइट वैल्यू इज बेसिकली अ वाइल्ड लूप विच ऑलवेज रिमेंस ट्रू ओके अ कंडीशन विच इज ऑलवेज रिमेंस ट्रू हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ रनिंग वेरिएबल इज ट्रू सो बेसिकली इट्स इनफाइनाइट वैल्यू बट द प्रॉब्लम विद दिस इनफाइनाइट वैल्यू लूप इज दैट यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू क्लोज द गेम नाउ ऑन एंड वाइड यू कैन डू इट सिंपली बाई डबल क्लिकिंग इट बिकॉज देर इज एन ऑप्शन इन द सेटिंग टू इफ यू जस्ट डबल क्लिक इट यू विल गेट बैक बट इफ यू आर रनिंग इट ऑन विंडोज और एनी सॉफ्टवेयर और लैपटॉप सॉरी डेस्कटॉप लैपटॉप यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू क्लोज दिस विंडो ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लोज द गेम विंडो देर इज एन ऑप्शन कॉल्ड इवेंट हैंडलिंग ओके वॉट इज इवेंट हैंडलिंग बेसिकली एनी थिंग दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डू ऑन योर गेम विंडो इज नोन एज इवेंट लाइक इफ यू आर क्लिकिंग समवेयर इफ यू आर प्रेसिंग सम की बोर्ड की इफ यू आर मूविंग योर माउस ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर नोन एज इवेंट्स सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू चेक दैट इफ यू आर क्लिकिंग द क्रॉस बटन ऑफ अर विंडो here there's no cross button showing in the android phone but in the laptop there's a cross button and if you want to close your window by clicking it you have to write this code first of all we are going to use a for loop for event in pygame dot event dot get okay so basically if pygame dot event dot get is a list and it it stores all the events that are happening on the game window okay so we are iterating on it and here you will check if event dot type equals pygame dot quit here we are comparing if the type of event is the click but uh, we are clicking on the cross button then we have to make our running variable false okay so let's just do it now finally you have to write one last line pygame dot quit see in the line number three we are initializing pygame similarly we have to close pygame once the game is done okay so now we can just try running it and there's nothing much will happen basically the screen will not go automatically this time then okay so i hope you understood till here okay the next thing is uh, let's fill our window with some color initially it's black in color if you want you can fill it with some color <coughs> let's say i want to fill it with blue color so here you need to pass the rgb in pygame colors are stored in rgb triplet if you are computer science student i hope you already know about rgbs but if you are not aware about it basically it's a three tu three value tuple called red green blue values you can define any color with this values for example i am using a rgb value of uh dodger blue color so this is the rgb values you don't have to remember it you can just search it from internet okay we'll be using more colors but let's just use blue for now the next thing is just type win dot fill okay now whatever we are going to show on the screen will be run, uh, typing it inside the while loop okay if you type it outside the while loop it will not be displayed so win dot fill blue here you have to pass the color name again if you run this you will see nothing will happen and why because we are not updating our screen in py game you have to update our screen otherwise the things that you have done will not be shown so in the last of the while loop just type py game dot display dot update once again if you forget to write this line nothing will be shown on the window okay no update will happen so if i do this see there is the blue screen it looks good but there's a problem which is not visible on this screen yet and this is known as scaling okay so basically though we have passed 288,512 pixels it is taking the entire screen so if i just pass here 50,50 you will see it is still taking the entire screen okay so it's not actually taking 50 pixels and 50 pixels see it is not taking 50 pixels and 50 pixels okay so let's just go back to 288 and 512 and let's try to fix it out <coughs> the thing i am saying is that uh, we need to scale our screen okay and we can scale it like this first of all we are going to remove uh this type like this pygm dot scale okay and then use the pipe symbol and here type pygame dot full screen though it's uh, showing in full screen but it is not actually running is full screen okay you will uh, find this problem once you are running this okay let's not do it currently let me just remove these things so i'll be explaining it once you <coughs> let me just remove these lines so it will be good okay we will do it when it comes it looks good okay so we have learned about till here we can just save this file for now and okay so let's move further now what we are going to do is we have a image in the assets folder i want to show this image 
so let me just go back car racing 2d assets so what i want is i want to display this image whenever my game starts that is home.png this is the image that i want to show whenever my game starts so first of all the thing that you need to know is how to load a pygame window okay uh, sorry how to load a py image in pygame so you can load images like this okay so we can just write a comment here load images we, we will be loading images here now here i'll be simply typing uh the image name and that will be simply uh menu image or you can say home img this is the variable name or image name okay then you have to type pygame dot image dot load and inside it you need to pass the path where you have stored the image so see we have stored it in a folder called earth sets and then the name of the image is home dot png once again let me just show you uh, here is your main file and there's this assets folder and here is the home.png see okay so we are just passing it like this <coughs> it looks good finally we need to just display it now to display here we have loaded it to display the image you have to type win dot blit okay in 2d games blitting is simply showing an object or a sprite or image on a screen okay so it takes two things the first the image that you want to show so our image name is home img <coughs> and then the position where you want to show the image now let's, let me just tell you about the positions in pygame so here i have a excalibur open so currently we have created a window like this okay this is a 288,512 pixels window let's consider it uh, in pygame uh, let me just click this one here where i am clicking is basically this is 0 comma 0 okay and uh, if i move towards this direction the x value will increase increase okay and if i move towards this direction the y value will increase okay so this is the initial coordinate initial point i can say here where i am clicking this is 0 comma 0 and while moving to the left uh, right direction the x value increase while moving to the downward direction the y value will in increase so basically i want to show an image corner the left corner will be at the 0 comma 0 where i am uh, this is the origin uh, sorry this is the 0 comma 0 i want to show it here so if i just pass 0 comma 0 here and run it let's see what happens see this was i was talking about the width and height of this image are 288 comma 512 pixels if i just go back here and let me show you the properties of this uh, image so here it is not showing don't worry okay basically it's a 288 comma 512 pixels but see it is taking only this small portion of the screen so once again this window is not actually 288 comma 512 pixels it's taking a full screen but it's not 288 comma 512 pixels so we have to fix this thing now how can you fix it it's very easy we have already talked about it okay so you first of all type pygame.scale and then type here pipeline pipe symbol pygame.fullscreen okay so if i just run this now this should scale it okay we have some issue pygame has uh, no module named pygame.scale sorry here it will be d pygame.scale not pygame.scale It looks good okay so it's taking this screen it looks good now now our window is of 288 comma 512 pixels and it is scaled so everything will work perfect now the next thing i want to do is i want to remove the title though it's not visible in the this uh, pi game screen on the android but it will be visible when you run this game on uh, desktop or laptop so you can just remove this uh, thing like this pi game dot no frame we have this option to remove the frame or that is the top bar okay but a problem will you will encounter soon when you write this line that you will not be able to close the game as there is no cross button now so again for this we can write few more code to implement the thing to close the button close the game here we are going to check if you are typing some key on keyboard okay so you can check it like this if event dot key equals pi game dot uh, key down 
basically this will check if you are pressing some key from the keyboard okay so even dot key equals pygame dot key down and here if we here we will type if even dot key is equal to pygame dot k underscore escape okay or even dot key is equal to pygame dot k underscore q then again we have to just make our running variable false now what does this lines means first of all in the line number 19 we are checking if you are pressing a keyboard key okay so our android phone also is a keyboard key and our laptops and desktop also is a keyboard okay so key then we are checking if the event key or if we are pressing the escape key or if we are pressing the q key on the keyboard if it is yes we will make the running variable of false and the while loop will break okay so if i just try running it let me just save it and let me just go to the setting and here inside appearance i think there should be an option to system by game show keyboard okay so if i just run this game now and if i press q key the game should close okay we have some issue event object has no attribute key if event dot key everything looks good if event dot key equals by game key down okay it's my fault here we have to check for type not key okay it looks good now so let's just save it and run it so if i just press q the game should quit okay so if i just press q the game was closed okay so it looks good now so you can now close the game by clicking the escape key or q key okay everything looks good now the next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to move further okay so initially uh, currently our game is showing uh, initial screen like this okay so it's saying loading now you want to move to the game part so how to remove this thing what i'm going to do is i will create a variable called counter initialize it with zero okay so it looks good now more thing few more thing that i want to explain it uh, explain about the game development see every scene in this everything that you do in a game is divided in parts so the first thing that is that appears on the screen okay this thing this is known as a scene this is the first scene okay where we are simply displaying an image in the second scene we will give an option to the user to select a car which car he wants to play with okay in the third screen will be or third scene will be our game where the game will actually run the fourth screen will be the end screen where the user will be decide whether he want to quit the game or restart the game so all these things are known as scenes okay so first scene we are going to implement let me just close this thing by game dot show keyboard it was good now i'm just going to create few variables called uh, like this you can implement a screen like this uh, let me just create variables here we will just define our variables okay <coughs> uh, here instead of scene i will say it home page okay and we will initialize it with true and then we will create a next variable called game page here this will be responsible for running our game we will initialize it with false which calls when our game starts first of all we will move to the home page ok the first thing is uh, this image will be shown so here we can check if condition if home page then only we need to display our uh, window ok so tab it looks good and if game page we will implement the game page in the next tutorial so game page uh, currently let's just pass it we are not going to do anything if it's the game page okay if i just run this thing you will see not much will happen everything remains same now how to move from the home page to the game page uh, basically there is one more page in between that is the car selection page where you will be select the car but we will implement it later so i am just going to create uh, i am going to use a logic like this counter plus equals one okay so we are adding counter variable to our game sorry adding we are co adding counter plus equals one now let me just remove this let's just keep it till here for this video in the next video we will be adding the game page okay so let me just uh, yes this looks pretty good so in the next video we will be adding the car to our game okay and we will see how can we move our car left right like this thing so this is it. If you love this video, leave a like or a dislike. If you want to do my channel, subscribe it. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.